It is well known that the Vietnam War was an uneven conflict in terms of weapons capabilities. The United States was always a tremendous power in terms of military capabilities, and the North Vietnamese knew it. When it came to facing the American Titan, the Communist Army in Vietnam had to manage guerrilla tactics in order to stand a fighting chance, which led to the creation of some of the simplest, but also most brutal traps that have been seen to date. On many occasions, the objective of these tactics was not so much focused on eliminating the enemy, but rather on causing damage that would put him out of action. These techniques were also intended to instill terror in the comrades of the unfortunate one who ran into them, thus affecting the psychology and morale of the American soldiers. Today in military history, we will list some of the scariest traps used by the Communist Army in the Vietnam War. Let's get started. The mace, also called a hanging spike trap, consisted of a heavy ball that hung from trees. Normally, it was made of wood, but in more extreme cases, it could be made of metal. The device was covered with sharp bamboo nails around its entire contour and had a cable that connected it to the ground. The ball waited, camouflaged in the trees, for the poor soldier who collided with the cable. When this happened, the weapon was released and proceeded to plunge into the unfortunate. This trap could hit the heads of its victims, penetrating their skulls and killing them instantly, as well as landing on their chests. The Vietnamese sometimes filled the bamboo tips with excrement to cause infection in the Americans, or coated them with poison to cause a painful death. One of the Viet Song's favorite traps was the bamboo whip, for which the Communist Army sharpened long wooden stakes that were attached to a long bamboo pole bent back into an arc. The structure was attached to a cable that was hidden a few centimeters at ground level. When American soldiers stepped over these wires, they triggered the trap. The bamboo cane unfolded at a speed that was difficult to dodge, so the stakes stuck into their chests. Many times, the victims did not die instantly and their cries of pain caused terror among their companions, who ran terrified through the terrain riddled with these traps. Before we go on with the next trap, we want to invite you to discover our new channel, Military Might. Here we'll carry out in-depth analyzes of the most powerful, modern and surprising weapons of war in the world. So, if you like military weaponry, you must check out Military Might. You'll find the link to the channel in the description and in the first comment. Let's go on. The explosive can differ from the two previous traps since it was not hidden in the air, but on the mainland, often in humid places. This weapon consisted of a metal spike attached to a can and a concrete block. This structure was buried and camouflaged in the undergrowth, so that it was difficult to detect. When an inattentive soldier was unlucky enough to come across this trap, his foot would be impaled by the spike, causing him enormous pain. But that's not all, under the trap was an explosive mine that was activated by moving the structure formed by the can and the spike. In this way, the American who wanted to remove this from his foot would cause an explosion that could disable his legs, or even cause his death. Pingy stakes are considered one of the deadliest traps in the North Vietnamese army. Interestingly, it was not a weapon designed to kill, but to terribly injure and delay Washington's soldiers. This system consisted of small holes dug in places where the American army was known to pass through. Inside the hole was a series of pointed stakes, in some cases made of wood and in others made of metal. When soldiers stepped over this false floor, his foot would sink into the ground, driving the stakes into his flesh. Of course, on some occasions, these holes were larger so that the entire body of the American could enter them. Not to mention, as with spiked maces, they were sometimes covered in excrement to cause infection. It is known that American soldiers liked to take war trophies when defeating their enemies, so the communists decided to take advantage of this feature of their rivals. One of the most famous traps involved the flags of the North Vietnamese army. This weapon consisted of a grenade buried in the ground, which was connected to the flagpole. Trying to lower it caused the grenade safety to be removed. 
When the North American soldiers tried to take the flags of their enemies, an explosion surprised them and left them out of action or, in the worst case, killed them. One of the most effective and easily created traps of the Viet Cong was the cartridge trap. It consisted of a bullet inside a bamboo tube, under this was a nail connected to a detonator. The structure was buried in the ground, with the bullet placed flush. When the soldiers stepped on it, the nail set off the detonator, shooting them in the foot. Although this did not cause terminal damage to the Americans, the nightmare came later. While the wounded man's companions tried to help him, the North Vietnamese soldiers ambushed them, causing numerous casualties. Trap bridges were built over streams in order to appear real to American eyes. The Americans believed that these were bridges belonging to the locals, and not some terrible trap that could end their lives. When the soldiers crossed over them, the bridges would collapse causing them to fall into the water. But that's not the worst of it. The North Vietnamese placed pointed bamboo stakes in the water to harm their enemies. As the Americans tried to assist their comrades, Viet Cong soldiers fired from the trees, then hid in the depths of the jungle like ghosts. Finally, we must mention the trap tunnel systems created by the Vietnamese, perhaps one of their greatest feats on a tactical level. Such was the ignorance of the Americans about this underground network that it is even said that they built a base on it. The Viet Cong took advantage of these tunnels not only to steal food and supplies from the Americans, but also used them to carry out surprise attacks. They would come out, shoot, and disappear again without a trace, leaving the Americans totally baffled. As we can see, the ingenuity was one of the main strengths of the North Vietnamese army. By physically, morally, and mentally attacking American soldiers, the Viet Cong managed to emerge victorious from the war. We have reached the end of this account and we want to ask you, which of all these traps do you think is the most effective? Leave us your answer in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about many more military events that left their mark on history. Thank you very much for joining us until the end. And stay tuned for our next video.